Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In case you don't know, my name is Raffaella Maller and I am so appreciative of you being here and watching, so thank you for that. Today I'm going to be showing you my summer favorite products, my must-haves that I'm loving and really enjoying right now. So I have a few skincare items, some makeup of course, and I even have a hair product. So if you want to see what those are, then please keep on watching. Subscribe before you leave. It would mean the world to me. And please give my video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. So yeah, let's get right into the video. So I guess I'll start with skincare first and then kind of make my way to makeup and then to my hair products. So the first thing I wanted to mention is this Neutrogena Clear Pore Toner. Um, it's an oil eliminating astringent. It helps to prevent breakouts without over drying, has salicylic acid and acne medication. It's dermatologist recommended. So I used to use this like religiously a long time ago. And for some reason, I don't know why, I think maybe I just like started buying new products and things like that, that I just stopped using it. And it was not because I didn't like it. It was not because I, you know, did something bad for my skin it was just i think because i got too caught up with like uh using other products that i just kind of forgot about it um but recently for the past like maybe month or so i've started using it again and i love it so every morning um and usually every night i kind of just put it onto a little cotton pad and wipe it all over my face and i really feel like not only does it get off every little bit last of uh, you know makeup it really just kind of cleans out my skin make sure there's no bacteria left of course this doesn't take the place of cleansing I still use a cleanser I use this after a cleanser and then it kind of just like preps my skin um, for moisturizer and also for like makeup because I feel like this really helps with producing oil on my face I tend to have more oily skin than dry or like normal or combination my skin tends to be more oily especially during the summer so i feel like this really helps to control that oil and it does not dry my skin out like a lot of other toners with like salicylic acid will do so this is a favorite of mine and i recommend it another skincare item that i really love is this glam glow mask i've tried other glam glow masks and i honestly love them all i can't say that i liked or that I didn't like any, but this is kind of always the one that I go back to. This is the Super Mud one, and it's a clearing treatment. So this is more for like acne. Um, sometimes I use this just to actually spot, like if I have just like one or two breakouts, I will literally just spot this on those areas instead of doing my whole face. The only thing I will say about this product is that you can't use it often because it will dry out your skin. It is a pretty intense mask. Um, and if you have sensitive skin, I'm not sure if I would definitely recommend this. My skin tends to be like uh, sensitive, but like to different sort of things. For acne treatments and things like that, I think that my skin can handle it. But I really stick to this only once a week. And like I said, sometimes I don't even use my whole face. I use it only on the certain areas where I really need it. It says to leave it on, I believe five to 20 minutes and then rinse it off. I usually leave it on for the full time just because I feel like if I'm already doing a mask, I want it to work to, you know, it's full potential. So love this one. Now we'll get into the makeup. Um, I'll start with primer. So I like used to not even use primer because I kind of feel like I didn't find one that actually worked for me. I need something that helps with my oily skin. I tend to have a little bit of texture. I have pores, but I've really been loving this Smashbox one, Photo Finish Oil Free. I think they have one that's like not oil free, um, but I always make sure that I get the oil free one because I don't like, like I said, my skin is oily, so I don't wanna add any more oil to my skin, especially when I'm putting it under makeup. So I feel like this really does just kind of fill in my pores doesn't feel heavy it doesn't feel like I'm adding like a big another layer onto my skin it really is just it's just smooths it out and um, I don't know I really like it and it's really been working for me so give this a try if you're on the market for a new primer so after primer is the foundation my favorite foundation that I've been loving is the hourglass stick foundation I use this in my video 
for my current foundation routine and you can see how I use it, how easily it blends out. It is just amazing. And what I really like about this, and especially for the summer, is that it f covers so much, it's full coverage, but it feels so light. And so little of this foundation goes a long way. Um, I t like to build up products, just that's just how I am. But even with this product being built up, it does not feel heavy, it does not cake, it's just so seamless, so easy to blend, works great with a brush or with a sponge, however you prefer to use it, and this is definitely a hit for me. For the days that I'm not necessarily in the mood for foundation, like maybe I'm going somewhere during the day because I do kind of save this for like my nights out because it is more of like a, you know, full coverage. So during the day, if I want to do makeup or if I'm just not in the mood for like doing a full, full glam, I love the It Cosmetic CC Cream. I've been using this for like forever, so I do use this during the winter as well, but I just seem to reach for it even more in the summer because it is lightweight. It has SPF 50. Um, it's anti-aging, color correcting, full coverage, and it's just so nice, so it does cover you don't need a lot of product. It's so quick. You can use a sponge, a brush, and it's just, it feels so nice on the skin and it's almost like a moisturizer at the same time. Next, I want to talk about this powder that I've been loving. I'm not a fan, usually I'm not a fan of like powder foundations, but for some reason I decided to try and buy this one even though I know that I'm never happy with foundations, powder foundations. Um, a while ago, Tarte came out with their Double Duty line. Um, I think that's what it's called. Double Duty or Double Beauty. And I believe it's only sold in Ulta. And this is the Confidence Creamy Powder Foundation. You can tell that I like it. <laughs> I'm almost out of it. And I actually have um, another one waiting for me when I finish this one because it's just so kind of nice and easy. During the summer, I would even like, if I don't wanna wear makeup, but I kind of feel like I need just something, even without doing mascara or without doing eyebrows or anything or even lipstick, I'll take a little fluffy brush like this one, kind of swirl it around and just brush over my face super easy, super quick. Just, and it kind of give me, gives me that like even glow. Another great thing about this uh, powder is that it's good for for oily skin. It is considered creamy, so you don't, so it's not gonna like stick to any patches of the skin. Um, I would say it's good for dry skin too. I just think that overall it's a great foundation. Um, another thing I like to use it as is if like, let's say I'm using a BB cream or the CC, the It's CC cream, and I feel like maybe I just want a little bit more coverage, but like I wanna use that product, I'll hit my face with a little bit of this and it just kind of completes it. It helps to set the liquid makeup that's underneath it, and it really just kind of gives me a little bit extra coverage without having to use more foundation or more heavy products, and for me, this is a go. And so, and I love this product, the Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops in the color Sunlight. I have it right now on my cheeks. Is that not a blinding highlight? I have it on my eyelids and also my inner tear duct. And I have a video on this look. I will link it below so you guys can see exactly how I use this. Um, but it is amazing. I mean, it is literally just the most blinding highlight. I mean, like, come on. Look at that. It's just completely blinding. So, and this is it kind of blended out. So you could see how it's just that like perfect highlight and if you're into those blinding really bright and highlights and want to build it up this is the product for you and also because it's like multi-use i use it on my eyes my cheeks i put some on my collarbones so i next i have this nyx vivid brights liner so i my favorite liquid liner is from nyx i love their um just the type of brush it is, and this one happens to be the same exact kind of bristle on it. And for summer, I think like bright colors are really, really fun. I'll swatch it on my hand. So that is what it looks like. It's just a really nice, like bright popping 
color but it's so wearable at the same time it's not anything too bright too crazy I actually have a picture using this liner where I incorporated it into a black winged liner it's up on my Instagram at Raffaella XO if you want to follow me there and check out that picture um, it's just so fun to like use different kind of liners during the summer so last thing for makeup is my KKW Beauty by um, Kylie Cosmetics lips, if I could pull it out. So these are cream liquid lipsticks. It comes with four shades. Kylie is pretty known for her like matte liquid lipsticks and her lip kits, but this is completely opposite. I actually have on Kimberly right now on my lips and they're just really, really nice and creamy. I love this because I am not such a matte lip girl. I don't like the way they feel. I think they're over drying and I'll wear matte lip lipsticks, but I will always put something on top, whether it's chapstick, whether it's gloss, whether it's like a clear gloss, always on top. But I feel like with these, they're just so nice and creamy, but so pigmented that you don't actually need anything else, but just a lip liner to go with it. So I'll put some right here. This is the one I have on my lips right now. It's just so nice and creamy. They're hydrating. They stay on. Um, I mean, of course, they're not going to be long lasting like a matte because that's just not what this formula is. They're not meant to do that. But I'm definitely a big fan. Um, Kimberly is the nudist one. There is also colors over here. There's also Kim, which is has like a peachy undertone. There is Kiki that has more of a pink undertone, and then there's Kimmy that is more of like a deep, darker nude. Um, I'm a nude kind of girl, so I really love all of these colors. If I'm more of in the mood for more of a nude, I got one a little peachy, I got one a little pink, I got one. So I'm just a fan of these, and I love how they wear. Again, if you're looking for something long-lasting or something to last all day where you don't have to reapply this is probably not the product for you but if you like something creamy hydrating um, but also very pigmented and nude then you'll love these last but not least i have a hair product that i've been really enjoying this is coconut milk anti-breakage serum by organics i think that is how you say the brand this is actually a drugstore brand it's very inexpensive i believe i bought this at walgreens but ulta sells it i believe cvs sells them as well i actually use the shampoo and conditioner by this brand also um the coconut milk line in general i've been loving it i feel like during the summer my hair is extra dry from the sun and being in the chlorine and the pool and everything and at the beach that I definitely need some extra moisture and this coconut milk line really helps me and does that for me and this is not only like an oil and a serum that hydrates your skin but it's also anti-breakage and especially when your hair is drier it's more prone to breaking off so I feel like this has been really helping me once like during the summer and I feel like less of my hair is breaking and falling off even when I brush it I can tell that difference um, the way I really use it is kind of after the shower, I'll make sure my hair is like I dry it off, get any excess water out, but while it's still damp, I'll use this at the ends of my hair. I don't really put it into the um, roots, only if there's any kind of left over on my hands, I'll kind of brush it through. But I stay, I try to like, um, but I try to keep it towards the ends of my hair so my hair doesn't look too oily but I really like it and it's honestly been like the only product that I've been using in my hair. I kind of put this on, leave my hair natural and walk out the door, no hairspray, nothing. Or if I blow dry my hair straight or blow it out or use a curling um, iron, then I will just put some heat protectant, but that's pretty much it. So that is all for my summer favorites. I hope that some of my favorites help you guys out kind of help you decide what will work for you if something is worth buying for you if you would like it too so if you liked this video please give it a thumbs up and please don't forget to subscribe before you leave also if you want to see how i use these cover effect straps please tune into my video on this look i will link it down below as well as using this hourglass foundation. I will link that video down below with my current um, 
flawless foundation routine. So subscribe again and stay tuned for next videos. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.